Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Tuesday the 14th of January. The local media headlines today. Bosses at Cornwall's main acute hospital have admitted that pushing patients out too soon may cause them harm. As a statement of the obvious, it's hard to beat. But what makes this a news story is that it actually had to be written down in a confidential internal memo by a senior clinician. The memo makes it clear that the pressures on the Royal Cornwall Hospital at Truro are so great that the risks associated with pushing patients out too early might even be justified. Cornwall Reports also had news about the former owner of Truro City Football Club, Pete Masters, who has bought the Newquay Voice and St Austell Voice newspapers. He already owns the Sunday Independent and Cornwall Today. Flybee continues to make news for mostly the wrong reasons. What looks like an asset-stripping voluntary administration appears to be just around the corner. Planes will still fly from Newquay, but almost certainly not to Heathrow Airport. There was, however, some rather better aviation news from Newquay in the form of the restoration of a World War II Lancaster bomber. Readers of a certain age will know why that's important. The Falmouth packet was among the media to cover the resumption of the inquest into the death of Mark Cole, who died after he was tasered by the police. The inquest is expected to last a couple of weeks and will focus on the extent to which the police action may have contributed to Mr Cole's death. The first day of the inquest heard evidence about Mr Cole's drug taking. Pirate FM reported the discovery of a man's body in his car at Callington. Police say there are no suspicious circumstances. The BBC had news of a garage collapse in Wadebridge. The Cornish Times warned motorists of strong winds on the Tamar Bridge. And finally, Cornwall Live has an unlimited supply of things to say about Love Island. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye.